Hi guys, my voice is weird. Всем привет! Welcome to my channel, Alice Yummy Food. I'm Ala, this is Milo, and this is our fifth episode of my series. And today I'll be showing you how to color more eggs with other food colors. There's one really awesome method how you can do it with just plain tissues with uh, drawings on. And I thought it was insanely good method. And I'll show you a couple of other methods how you can make your eggs look super, super pretty. So technically you get, you know, a few videos in one and it gives you loads of ideas to go crazy and decorate, you know, your Easter table with many very beautiful, crazy, creative eggs. And also kids absolutely love to get involved when you decorate and paint your eggs. So I thought this was a brilliant idea and hopefully loads of you will actually do this with your kids or family members, brothers, sisters, partners. Um, it's a very calming effect, it's very nice and enjoyable. Yeah? <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe and check out obviously all my other episodes. We still got a few more to go in my Easter series, but I hope you've been enjoying them so far. So we're going to start with ingredients that you're going to need. Here I've got some white rice, some lentils, everything is uncooked. And you're going to need some greens such as dill, parsley or coriander. And you're also going to need some water. Now, first thing you're going to do is combine your uh, skin from your onions. I'm using red and brown. And you might want to just chop them up nice and fine just like that. We're going to be using this for the natural color. Here I've got some white eggs. Um, you can use brown eggs as well, but I do find that with white eggs you get a lot better sort of results. <laughs> and here I've got some marley uh, or a cheesecloth, whichever you have in your kitchen. You can also get these in pharmacies uh, or online. Uh, I'm just using a normal cheesecloth, which I'm cutting into smaller pieces for each egg. You want to cut these enough for all of your eggs. In this case, I only just need six. Um, but if you were to do more, you can obviously have more. So you want to place this right in the middle. And first thing we're going to do is dip our egg into water and then dip into rice. You just want to go around and drop more rice on top and then place that onto your cheesecloth and wrap it all around from the sides and the bottom and make sure that it's really really nice and tight. So this will obviously create a beautiful rice pattern. In fact you can probably use any grains that you have in your kitchen. <laughs> so just wrap this really tight and then use a sewing kit and just make sure it's nice and stable and the egg is not gonna sort of open up when you cook. It's always a good idea to tighten it up and have a nice knot at the very end. So it should look just like that. Next egg we're gonna do is with lentils. So this gives it like a nice dotted spotty look, which I think is very cute. Um, and you can obviously add less or more depending what kind of effect or spotted effect that you wanna have on your egg. And we're pretty much gonna repeat the method. We're gonna wrap it into our cheesecloth, uh, sort of move it aside, make sure it's nice and tight, and then just secure it with our sewing kit and tighten it. Uh, you might wanna do this for a while, uh, just to make sure it's nice and tight. Next method is really beautiful, I absolutely love this one. What you wanna do, you wanna dip your egg and then place your sort of choice of your leaves. Uh, you can use pretty much any leaves that you have that they have to be fresh, and you wanna glue them on top of your egg. You might want to dip the egg into wetness or the other way around. You might want to dip your dill or parsley into water and then glue it to the egg. Either way, you just want to make sure it's nice and glued together. Once you created the pattern that you want, you want to wrap this again and just be very, very gentle not to ruin the beautiful drawing that we're going to create. Now wrap this tightly again and just secure it with a sewing kit. As some of you know, I have launched my online cooking school where you can learn how to make the most amazing cakes ever. I've got level one, two and three for beginners to advanced and you'll be able to learn the beautiful mousse cakes. You can also do this as a gift for somebody who loves cooking and baking. I think it's an awesome present. And of course, if you wanted to learn yourself, 
Each course has over 20 to 40 video lessons in there where I teach you all the skills, different cakes and unique designs. We also have a Facebook community group for all the bakers that join my course and you will have my unlimited support throughout teaching and learning. I really hope to see you in my online cooking school and if you have any more questions then leave the comments down below. I've been boiling my onion skin, the one I showed you earlier, for about one hour and it has given me this beautiful color, the natural brown color. So this is what we want. We want to cook it until it sort of reduces in size and boils to this color and then dip our eggs inside. So I'm just dipping all of my eggs inside there and we're going to boil them for about 10 minutes or so. And then it's best to leave it for another half an hour in the mixture to make sure that the color really comes through and of course don't forget to add salt as this is an important step for your eggs not to crack. Once everything is done and your eggs have been colored you want to just put them under cold water and let them to cool down completely until they're nice and cold. Now let's have a look what's inside and what do we have. The first egg that I got was with a beautiful parsley and dill and you can see these leaves really came across and obviously we naturally colored the eggs into a brown shape with flowers or I don't know if you can call them flowers but they look pretty <laughs> next one is with your rice you might also want to wash these eggs under cold water once you've taken off the cheesecloth just because it's all boiled and stuck to your hands and here we go So you will get different patterns with different eggs and at the very end it's really important to add a bit of oil onto your cloth and just wipe down each egg. This will give it a nice shine and preserve the color and will just look really really beautiful. Just look at these funny cute little eggs. Um, this is one of the most you know easiest ways to naturally color your eggs and it, they look so pretty at the Easter table and I hope you like these <laughs> and we'll be creating these with your kids. I can't wait to see your egg creations guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.